Right behind me is a homemade elevator. I'm getting it operable. Hasn't been running for, um, I don't know, at least a couple years. It needs some maintenance, so I thought I'd bring you along. It's kind of a unique thing to see a, an elevator in a house, so come on, let's check it out. So this is lakefront property, and we have a, a pretty good drop down to uh, the, the, the bottom level down there. And so they've put in an elevator. Technically, this is a, like a dumb elevator. It's not really uh, meant for people. People can ride it. The, the way it's designed, it looks like people could ride it. I've actually ridden it. It's really not safe enough to be ridden by people. But it's just, it's really unique. Anyway, you can see there's quite a few stairs. The whole basement level is being lakefront property. The whole basement of the home could possibly flood. So it's actually not considered livable space, even though it is. So everything is upstairs. And we've got some furniture and stuff moved out right now. But if we look in here, we've got an elevator. So if you went to the uh, store or something, got a bunch of groceries, you wouldn't have to huff them up. Uh, two, well, this is a long, this is like three flights of stairs. You know, you park out front, you just bring them over here, put them on the elevator, you walk yourself up, and by the time you get up here, they're up here. Um, kind of a unique setup. Let's see if it lets you see. We've got a cable system. This cable system, I wouldn't even known if we weren't on lakefront property, but this is actually from a boat lift. So this is actually designed, this is what runs and operates boat lifts. Um, but what it is, is just this single piece of pipe and the cable wraps around it each way and I'll push the down button and kind of show you guys how it functions. And the pipe just rotates and unwinds or winds up the cable and we'll go down here and you can see the unit dropping and we'll stop it. And it has these little limit switches on the side right there that weren't working. So I was playing around with those and I got those operable again. But we come up here. It's kind of a unique setup. It looks all custom made. It looks like somebody, uh, I'm sure we're shrunk down from a boat dock one. I can go down and show you the boat dock one. But they have the same piece of cable. Let's get you over, let's get you over here. We've got some metal framework underneath that's just latched on and then the cable just kind of runs up through the wood. The wood is this more guardrail, but the same piece of cable that attaches down there comes up, wraps through here, wraps around, goes through the center, comes over, comes down, and attaches over there, which I don't necessarily like. I, I would actually prefer to be two completely separate pieces of cable because if the cable broke, there's a chance that it could, you know, instead of just unwinding one corner, it could actually unwind a whole side. Um, really not too many safety things put on this. There should be more safety, but it's a dumb waiter, so it's really not meant for uh, human beings. Um, I ended up it's attached to these little shackles and these one-ton pool of pulleys. Uh, I tried to find some wire. didn't have any wire. They've never had. I mean, this is probably 20-some-odd years old that this was built. I ended up just putting some zip ties for now. I mean, they haven't come loose in their lifetime since being here. But as a safety precaution until I could find some, uh, some bailing wire, I actually put just some zip ties in the shackle bolt just so it didn't loosen out. This was pretty. I mean, this had not been greased in four ever so I ended up greasing this whole wheel up um, there's just a, a worm gear in there so even if the motor failed it wouldn't drop unless you completely sheared off the worm gear teeth but these are meant for quite a few pounds um, probably actually even says there's that aqua marine supply logo something and there's probably a box checked either it looks like 2000 3000 4000 5000 some sort of poundage. I'm not exactly sure what it says. I can't really read it. I'm sure it's rated for, this winch is rated for at least, and motor set it's at least 2,000 pounds. Um, each one of these little shackles is a one ton, so 2,000 pounds. So you got 8,000 pounds with a shackle. Um, this looks like 5 16 cable. That's probably rated for, I mean, it's, it's rated for way more than it'll ever carry. Um, but we'll send it down and we'll go down and look at the bottom.
You can see the bottom coming down. Uh, the wood is just kind of there to be there. And it's pretty reliable. I mean, you got these two metal galvanized. I know they're probably even stainless steel tubing. They might be galvanized. Everything around here being on lakefront, it's all galvanized. Um, you end up having these beams, a bunch of these casters. Uh, they were probably tighter to begin with, but the the beam, I don't know if I can pick you up, all the beams being 30 feet long have twisted over their life. It's, but... it comes down you got some on off buttons and stuff but it comes down and it hits this little switch right here and it shuts itself off kind of unique so you see you just park right here you just walk around kind of nice I don't know if you can see how get the scale of it it's a big it's a it's quite the, the height getting up those stairs especially if you're hauling you know bottles of water or something a bunch of flats of water it's kind of slow but you really don't need it to be fast. So you could load some bunch of stuff on it, hit the up button. By the time you went back to the car, got something, went up the stairs, it would be all the way up there. Very unique setup. Just thought I'd show you guys the setup. Oh, we got brisket cooking over there. This is Texas, so you gotta have your brisket going. We'll go check that out. Ooh, my temp's dropping a little bit. Let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, brisket's looking good. Oh, that's going to be a good meal tonight. So I'll show, show you what those things are from. Bring you out to the boat dock. And there's that same mechanism right there. Here we actually have the, uh, you can see the gears. Little, well, at least on this one they're exposed a little bit more. But it does the exact same thing. It runs this, cable just runs around this shaft. And that spins this one, and then there's one down there for the backside, and it raises up the boat lift. And so, I, I mean, they're meant to lift. I mean, this was meant to lift probably a 3,000 pound boat between the two of them, but they're overkill. But yeah, that's what it is. I always enjoy somebody else's uh, unique engineering. You know, somebody spent a, a fair amount of time designing it and thinking about it and how they were going to do it couple late nights of drawing it out on napkins and came up with actually something that survived the last 20 years or so and it seems to work pretty good maybe a couple little you know and everybody comes along and I'll do a couple little tweaks on it and make it a little bit more safer um, but thanks for watching guys enjoy that have a good one bye Underwater.